It was announced earlier this week that students would be returning to in person learning as of Monday. What wasn't included, though, was the reopening of student lodgings at schools like this one, EC Drury School for the Deaf here in Milton. So staff and students have been sitting on the edge of their seats, hoping that the announcement by the Minister of Education today would change that. As Education Minister Stephen Lecce outlined details on what back to in-person learning would look like come Monday, what wasn't mentioned in the press conference was the status of student lodgings at schools like EC Drury School for the Deaf. The government had shut down student lodgings when it moved students to virtual learning in the first week back from Christmas break. However, the minister's office has confirmed with Halta News that the decision to reopen student lodgings is pending. David Sykes is the district officer for the Provincial Schools Authority teachers with the Ontario Secondary School Teachers Federation and says he's not surprised. What I will say is that there's a knot in my stomach right now and a really uneasy feeling because we have to appreciate that, first of all, I'm here on behalf of our president who can't be here today because we couldn't get an interpreter. So I'm speaking for her. and She's deaf. And I want people to think about what that means for children with deaf, hard of hearing who are at home without supports and services. So the fact that lodgings closed means that our students are not learning uh, really very much at all. Um, I'm disheartened that the minister didn't come out and say that. We've been meeting with senior management at the provincial schools and asking them to let us know when they're going to reopen. If everyone else is going back to congregate settings, why can't we? Why are we any different? Lodgings at EC Drury are more than just offering a place to sleep, according to Sykes. He says they also serve as a second home for these students. And this is their family. When they're, uh, they're, they're very close and very uh, tight-knit community, and it's essential for the lodgings to be open for them to continue to uh, develop emotionally, um, socially, and academically. In-person learning will continue for students who can physically get to EC Drury, but Sykes says that isn't good enough because many of their students don't live close enough to get there. We have uh, students who are flying students. They live in remote communities. They're the only deaf child in perhaps a 50 or 100 mile radius, 100 kilometer radius. Um, and when they come to our schools, they have uh, the opportunity to interact with people like themselves in the language uh, that they use first language, which is usually ASL. Uh, when they're in their communities, they are socially isolated. Um, we worry for their mental health, as we've heard the minister uh, talk about, as the Ontario Pediatric Association has said, this is doing damage to children and we need to put whatever supports and funding in place that will make our lodging and residents um, safe and, and open. That's the bottom line. The deaf have had to fight for their rights to operate a motor vehicle, to employment, to communication and education. And now it's 2022. This is not a fight we should be having. Education is presumptive. So we are calling upon Minister Lecce to reopen the lodging now. In an email statement to Halton News, the minister's office says, uh, quote, any decisions regarding student lodgings are made in accordance with guidance from the Office of the Chief Medical Officer of Health. The health and safety of students and staff is the key consideration when deciding to open or close student lodgings in the pandemic. The statement goes on to say student learning for students attending provincial or demonstration schools continues to be the main priority for the Ministry of Education. For Halton News in Milton, I'm Melissa Candelaria.